Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our immersive integration tutorials. So in this episode, we're going through basically everything that's left in immersive integration, which is the um, applied energistics uh, integration. Um, so here we have uh, a, a number of different items that will allow us to um, use uh, the the, uh, <laughs> the immersive engineering wiring scheme with uh, applied energistics, which is is pretty sweet. And, uh, and I think uh, quite useful. Um, so there's a lot of stuff here to go through, so we are gonna go through it, um, you know, try and go through it at a fairly decent pace. It's, it's really pretty simple the way you use it. There's just a lot of stuff that you have to make. Um, so we're gonna start off with the actual Fluix wire coil itself, and that is crafted using four Fluix crystals. These can be normal Fluix crystals or pure, four uh, ME glass cables, and a stick. And that gives you four of these wire coils. You're going to need a fair amount of these, uh, as we'll see in a moment. <clears throat> now, other than just the standard wire coils, you can also get the dense wire coils, you know, so that because you know, you, so that you can transfer 32 channels. Now, if you, feel free to look back on our Applied Energistics videos about uh, channels if you if you want to brush up on what those are, are all about. Uh, dense wire is crafted using four Fluix wire coils, a stick, and four dense cables. So you know, it's pretty expensive. Um, as you might expect. And then we have the uh, wire connectors, um, you know, which are obviously how you connect these wires together to various places. And this is crafted using three sky stone blocks and three fluix dust and an emmy glass cable. That gives you four of them. Then we have the dense version, and the dense version requires three of the standard ones, re two redstone, a glowstone, and a dense cable. So whenever you make the dense, it, it eats up the entire production of the um, of the not dense. Well, except for this, you get four. This takes three. You'll have one left over. So that's how you make those. Now you're going to need to make uh, these transformers in order to actually uh, use this stuff, and you need to make these in order to make those. So flux wire coils. The flux wire coil is just eight of the wire, the flux wire around an iron ingot. And it's exactly the same story for the dense. You just use the dense wire coils instead of the regular ones to get the uh, the dense wire coil block. Once you have uh, the one that you need, you can craft either the transformer or the dense transformer. The transformer is crafted using the flux wire coil, five iron ingots, and an ME wire connector. And the dense transformer is exactly the same. It just uses the dense coil and the dense connector. Okay, so... Um, what are, what are these for? Well, y the, the you need to use the transformers. This should all be over here. In order to uh, convert from using the standard cable into using the uh, coil, okay. So what you do is you would stick your emmy glass cable up against one of the bottom faces of the transformer. It won't connect to the upper faces, only the bottom faces. You can connect it to the four lower faces or underneath. I'm not sure why you'd want to do it underneath, but you could. Okay? So that's how you connect it to your emmy network. I have it set up over here. What was that? Like that. So we've got an ME network here, and we've got our ME transformer, and we've connected them together using a glass cable. All right, so that this will uh, we can use this to run some wire. Um, so the the simplest way to do that is all you have to do is it's just like the uh, uh, immersive. It's just like the immersive engineering. You just have to uh, right click between the points, and it connects. All right. So that's the basic. Now. The thing about the dense is that you it, it does appear to connect to these transformers, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to transfer all 32 cables. There's this dense transformer is, is what you're supposed to use, what you need if you want to transfer 32 uh, full channels. And again, we have videos about that uh, in Applied Energistics. Um, now we can just uh, demonstrate how this works. So I'm pretty sure this will work. I've used an uh, ME import bus to connect to one of the output slots of this uh, industrial coke oven, which is full of coke. And uh, we're just going to wire it up. 
So we're going to right click on th this transformer and we're going to right click on, on this transformer. Now the question is whether it also transfers the power to make this actually run and whether or not we now have access to, yeah, there it is, the cold coke is coming over and being stored in this ME drive. So of course the cable also transfers the power that it needs because the only thing that's powering this is a energy cell underneath here. So that's really all there is to it. This wire is simply a way to connect your uh, ME network to disparate parts of itself without having to run a whole bunch of these little uh, glass cables. The maximum range on these, I believe, is 32 blocks, because that's the maximum range on the standard um, cables. Remember, the way that you can tell the difference between the types of cable, the dense and the not dense, is that the dense one is just slightly darker. It's also thicker. You can see that. It's noticeably thicker than the standard, okay? So that's how you can keep an eye on, uh, remember which one that is. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, we can totally demonstrate this though. If I place this here, and then we um, place this here, we'll, we'll hook this up with a dense, just so that you can see that it does in fact work. We'll hook the dense up there, and then we'll hook um, dense up here. Hook them together. And now if we run wires and we stick things like import buses on them, network apprentice, you'll see that it does use channels and these are being uh, connected. See? We got a full 32 channels because we've got six and now if I connect um, one more row we'll have eight which would be the eight channels of a standard connection but you see we've only used up uh, two lines here so we got a full 32 channels in the dense and we've only got you know we've got less on that because if we look over here we, we don't have any smart cable but it's using one channel so that's how these work so they're actually very quite useful um, the, the problem I always have with the, uh, the the ME cables and any solid cable really is that it you know it gets in the way and by using these it, it won't get in the way now the problem with is that you need to use these transformers and they're not exactly cheap and if you want to run these over short distances then you're going to need a transformer at you're going to need a transformer at both ends of the connection so what you, what you probably want to do is connect multiple um, things together here so if I place a wire connector there, we can see, can we connect? No, nope, we cannot connect more than one connection to a transformer. Um, so what you're probably gonna wanna do is instead of connecting it directly to transformers, um, which you probably wouldn't ever really do, is just connect from one transformer to a connector, from that connector to another transformer, and now you can run connections between that connector and presumably this will still you know connect so anyway that's it for this uh, this cable is quite useful it's, it's a lot like the redstone one it's not necessary but it, like with everything in this immersive integration it's just very useful so if you've got immersive engineering and you're running a planet logistics um, I'm sure you can see some use in this. Uh, I can definitely see some use in this. It, it sort of fills a gap uh, in, in uh, running an ME system over a medium distance. We got the wireless quantum bridge for running ME systems over an extreme distance. Um, the cable is you know decent enough over a short distance, but there really isn't a whole lot for trans uh, so transmitting your uh, your connecting your ME networks over a medium distance. But this this can definitely fit that bill. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We're basically done with immersive integration. The only things that are left are like two little things. Like the, we're not going to talk about those because they're really simple and they don't justify being in a video. Um, anyway, so that concludes our immersive integration series. And, uh, and hopefully now, uh, next week, 
um, I'll, I'll have some reactor craft update video um, ready to go. Uh, we'll see. I'm not feeling well right now. Hopefully that, you know, gets better. Anyway, um, don't forget, we just, we have a Discord uh, server. So uh, link will be in the description of every video from now on where you can go and you can join our Discord server. I'm hoping to get some people in there, you know, actually have, you know, some conversations going on, actually get some games going because people have been joining but I haven't really been saying anything. So uh, come on, we'll, we'll, we'll get together, we'll have a good time. So don't forget, join the Discord, it's a great time. Uh, best way to talk to us. So um, I'm staying tuned for future episodes. I'm Sentinel H and I'm signing out.